See, there's, there's so many games, guys, that are fucking just great for streaming that no one streams, and you've chose Football Manager. Now, listen, some of you probably haven't seen this before, right? When I play Football Manager, see, I role play, because otherwise, what's the point? If you just did it like who you are, like what's the point? So my recurring character in all of these games is Ricardo Castro. And the story about Ricardo Castro is he's a flamboyant, angry, agitated Cuban refugee that for some reason has an affinity to Wales and the Northeast. You know, he's like, oh, gr growing up, uh, I recognize that the Welsh and the... Uh, the Geordies are the only ones. I don't know why. I, that's, I don't even know what accent that is. That's French, isn't it? Whatever. The club was bankrupt when he came in. It's free transfers only. The financial model. We've been struggling, but I'm I'm haul, I'm haul, I hauled us out of debt, and now we're we're in big time debt again. When talks of consortiums coming in and all that. Where to start? Let's start with the club captain, Umberto Otranto. I got him from, where was it, Cremonese? Fermana. Fermana. Where he was on loan. He failed to break through into Napoli. This guy is a fucking godhead. That guy was free. Free! Then this is the biggest success story. Probably in the team. Victor Fundi. 22. Free transfer. Nigerian under 21. He was at Crystal Palace. He's not getting a game. We bring him to Gateshead. He's dog shit. He's dog shit. He went 10 games without scoring. Free fucking, you know, just free in the area. Spoons it every time. I'm like, what is going on with this guy? He's got the attributes. He's got flair. He's got off the ball. He's got composure. He's got dribbling. He's got a first touch. His finishing ain't great, but he's quick. He's quick for the leagues he played in. Why isn't it happening? But he just needed. He just needed to fucking relax, get bedded in, right? And then, boom. It was insane. Like, the last 25 games of the season, 16 goals. And now, we go up a division with this cunt. He's got five in nine. And he's playing better. He's going to be big. Victor Fundy. He's like my boy. Now, I'll tell you about the bad ones. Doesn't always work out. Filippo Forni. Right? I thought he was going to be good. Look at them numbers. For a big, strong centre-back. He's got heading. He's got marking. He's got tackling. He's got anticipation. Concentration. Positioning. Strength. Pace. Jumping. The key stats he needs. Well, he's never gone above a seven. And he was the cunt I got from Cremonese. Who else has been uh, a disaster? What about Precious Nagongo? Now, if you see a big Congolese centre-back on the market called Precious Nagongo, he's 19. You go out, you, you make that signing. You make that signing. And unfortunately, his problem is he's only good at standing still and... And pushing people and heading the ball. That's it. He can jump like a fucking salmon, this guy. He can leap like a salmon from a standing position, but he can't do nothing else, mate. Now, I'm stubborn, and he's called Precious Nagongo, and Castro loves his fucking kids. <laughs> he loves bringing his talent through. So he's still in the team. He's still valid. He still gets a game. He's played seven times. He's shit. But he's played seven times. Who else hasn't been great? Oh, here we go. Williams Cocolo. Now listen. He's French. He's young. He's a wing back. He's quick. I'm signing him. That's my MO. That's where I'm at. Now, I don't think he'd had a team before. Oh, no. He was a Macken reject. He was a Macken reject. He couldn't make it at Sunderland. So, naturally, I swooped in. I said, listen, mate. They're fucking... You know, they got a rat infestation in Sunderland. They got the most rats per human in the world. 
in their city. So come here. I'll get you away from the rats. We'll get you in Gateshead. And he said, you know what, Ricardo? You, you fucking, you're a good lad. I fucking hate rats, me. And he came. Right? And uh, he's quick. But man, he can't do nothing else. He's a wing back. I don't think he's got an assist, has he? Or doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he got one assist in 34 games when we were playing in the Vanarama National. I bought. Oh, I, I had to pay one grand for him. I paid him a grand. <laughs> like we paid Don Dolo more money than that. I paid Don Dolo more money. Like, <laughs> but we got him for a grand, an actual grand, and uh, I regret it. Like, I do regret it. It was bad. It was a bad signing looking back. So I have a big problem at left wing back, I do. Uh, and this is why I brought in uh, Rio Adebisi. Because Adebisi was the name of the fucking hard cunt from fucking uh, Oz. So I see somebody, Nigerian, 20 years old, Rio Adebisi, I'm in. I'm in. So he's on loan and he's doing okay. He's already got one assist in four appearances. He did really well in the leasing.com trophy, which is the only cup we can play in because we're fucking garbage. But look at that. Good, strong, physical lad. He's technical's garbage. He technically, actual garbage. Uh, but but mentally and physically, he's good enough for this league. So Rio Adebisi's in. Greg Ollie. Greg Ollie is like my oldest player, I think, at 25. He's the oldest player. But... He was at Gateshead when I took over. And he didn't like me. He didn't like my training methods. He didn't like the way I played football. He didn't like me as a person. Right? 30, he scored seven goals in 39 games. 18 for free kicks, by the fucking way, is mental in any division. And uh, anyway... I had to sell him. He wasn't going to renew his contract. Burton came in. They gave me 52 grand. That's 52 Williams Cocolos, by the way. I could have bought 52 of him. That's how that's how I was making money for the club. So I let Greg Ollie go. I let him go. I didn't want to. I didn't want to let him go. But that's 52 Gs. And he weren't renewing his contract at the end of the year. He goes to Burton. He has a nightmare. Two games when he's a 52 grand signing in a league that spends no money into a 24 appearance nightmare season. He gets up free transferred. He's miserable. I pick up the phone. Greg, mate. We had, it wasn't all bad, was it, at Gates? And he went, oh, no, Ricardo, no. I always liked you, mate. I always liked you. I always liked you. I went, oh, you see, huh? Ah, the worm has turned, huh? Maybe there is a room for you back at the club, huh? Maybe. You take less salary, huh? Anything, anything, Ricardo. I just want to come back and play with you. Uh, I'll see what I can do, huh? Okay, yeah, we're in a bit of inconsistent. I mean, how is this inconsistent, by the way? We've lost one out of our last five, and that's inconsistent. But these guys are rocking and excellent, so we, we are having a bad time. This is my formation. As I said, I'm a wingback guy. I like short passing. I like to play it out of defense. I like to try and get the ball in the box wherever possible. Thanks, but pound of 420 for the $10. Appreciate it. Here's 10 bucks for Maria. Also, will Sam ever know true love? Sam does know true love. Marijuana. So you can see Otranto and Kamwa. Uh, the little lines that loop are when they've played together enough to get an understanding. So you can see Kumateo and Jack Lee. They came in. My boy Forney, who I'm still trying to push as a solution to being a big, strong, no-nonsense centre-back. There it is. That's what NCB stands for. No-nonsense centre-back. He just kicks it out. Doesn't try and play it. Doesn't do anything too fancy. Otranto and Camera are the real story in this team. They just run the midfield. And when we're in attack, we've got five. When we're in defence, we've got five. Wing-backs. Best thing Glenn Hoddle ever did, guys. 100%. 100% fine. Look at that. We just take two out of the game. That's my keeper. And then I, look at that through ball. This is the one. This keeper's on steroids, mate. Not their fault. Keeper made some great saves there. We'll get one. We're a high scoring team. You ain't, you ain't keeping Fundy out all game. 
Look at that tackle from Camwell on a yellow card. Immaculate. Watch him. The length of the pitch. The length of the pitch. He's a free transfer. Let's get back and make the tackle. All right, Elliot Forbes. He's won us games coming off the bench in the past. Like, We've been so much better than them. It's Forbes off the bench. That's absolute shit. Oh God, no! Nice, whip it, whip it. Mate, this keeper's got more fucking hands than fucking Vishnu. I can't deal with it. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, right. Yep, you better accept your fine with your fucking regen head. Looking like Doc, the fucking CS player. Mate, it'll all be different against Scunthorpe. We're going to put the cunt in Scunthorpe. You see, like. You'll see. You'll all see. Easy win predicted for Scunthorpe. All right, lads. This is tough. This is, uh, this is, this. We need to bounce back. He always gives me this as well. Like, look. Oh, we should, we should play defensive. That is not how uh, Ricardo Castro plays a game, huh? Ian, I tell you this a million times, huh? The best form of defense is attack. Oh, you. He doesn't get it, man. He just doesn't. He's not got the Latin passion that I've got for the fucking beautiful game of football. You know what I mean? Right, this is the German Engels. He is 100% getting a yellow card this game. He gets a yellow card every game. He just, he just loves it. He just loves to kick people. Here we are. We tricked him! We tricked him! It's in the back of the net! Fucking there you go, lads! <laughs> right. We're in. We're in. Kumateo. To Camwa. To Angles. Look at this. Triangles. Triangles. Angles on the overlap. He's whipped it. Fundy at the nipple. He's hit the woodwork. Oh, God, from that angle. Oh, it's even possible. Taken down. Oh, challenge, son. Great job. Engels. Known for his long throw. Straight to the opponent, of course. Fucking bell end. You guys don't understand. We're not supposed to be in this league. I've worked miracles to get us in this league. Every team's better than us in this league. You've given a penalty. Why? Have you pushed him right on the edge of the box under no pressure? Why would you do it? Why would you do it? <laughs> Suck a dick! This is it. This is goal number two. Goal number two. Ollie, just feed it. It's Corkalo. He's confused. <laughs> He's confused as fuck. He's whipped it. To Fundy! Oh, you fucking rat! Fuck's sake. I thought he'd really banged it in there with a header of all things. Like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the defense went to sleep a little bit there. Not gonna lie. Hey, listen, a draw with Scunthorpe's fucking good, and it's not over yet. Whipped. Cut, fucking penalty! About time! Come on, Osama. Just rolls it in. Rolls it in. Rolls it in. You better tighten this shit up. How's that even got in? I'll take to all. I'll take to all. You know, we were we were massive underdogs in this one, lads. Massive underdogs. We played the possession game. 
That's a GG. So I don't know what to say, really, though. Thanks for the $5, Robbie Lyle. Gateshead fan. Richard, solid performance tonight, wouldn't you say? Well, I... Uh, well, listen, lads. We uh, we had we had a lot of chances. Uh, a lot of the fans are getting on Fundy's back. You know, Fundy bleeds this club. You cut him. You cut Fundy in half, like some of you want to, and it's black and white in the middle. It's black and white in the middle. So don't you know anyone who's insulting Victor Fundy? Hundred percent shots on target, by the way. Anyone insulting Victor Fundy doesn't love Gateshead. How are Newcastle doing? That's a very good question. You know what? When I'm in these games, Vince, mate, I don't even, I don't even think about it. Like, I, I, I legit, like, just don't even look at it. <laughs> it's just all about the club I'm with. So let's have a look. Newcastle. Oh yeah, nineteenth in the Premier Division. Like, getting absolutely fucking gang banged. Of course. Don't need no strikers. Are you gonna see me at the Brazil Major? Nah, you got more chance of seeing me actually become the manager of Gateshead, I think, <laughs> than going to Brazil. So no, no chance. I wouldn't go there for. I wouldn't go there if you paid me. And the reality is, they would be paying me to go. So that proves it absolutely fundamentally, doesn't it? Conferences. Now, my weakness, in a lot of ways, is is the money. I will bankrupt your club. Like I, I will. But I don't spend the money, you see. I put it into scouting. I put it into infrastructure. I put it into good, prospective-free transfers. I'll straight bankrupt you, like. But we'll win things along the way to offset the bankruptcy. But I got a good feeling about the Gateshead game. Got a good feeling about Gateshead. Uh, Swindon, this is the one. We can do this. To Fundy! To Fundy! To Fundy! Off. Was that the post or the keeper? I don't know. Right, okay. It's fine. That's the other thing he does. People panic when Fundy's on the ball, man, because he's so good. And they all, like, get round him and he creates space. Space created. It's Fundy. Through the middle! It's the what? I feel like we should be ahead in this one. Fundy, look at that! Jockey's the man. Now he's just gonna, he's just gonna, he's squaring it. He's squaring it. He doesn't even need to square it. Oh. He's so good. Gateshead Fan TV, we've got Richard here. Richard, you've been a firm supporter of Fundy. The chat are booing him, calling him re Fundy. What are your thoughts? Listen. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate Gateshead Fan TV. I just want to say that, uh, you know, this is three games without a goal. This is a, a top striker in the division. This is a guy who's at the top end of the strikers in the division. This is a guy who works hard at his game. We're creating the chances. Fundy's too good to go without a goal for long. And I think the refundy thing, that's not helping anybody. And I want the fans to get behind and back their man. You either love Gateshead... Or you don't love Gateshead. And if you love Gateshead, you love Victor Fundy. That's that's what I have to say. Thanks to all the true fans out there. Refundy's helping no one. See if there's people. You're a fucking Gateshead. And don't do what we did last time. I don't know if you guys remember. But last time we did a Gateshead stream. One of the goalkeepers in the game went mental with me. And was not turning up to training. And I think somebody tweeted at him. And said, listen, you better start turning up to training, mate. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I tweeted at him and he replied and went, yeah, nice one, lad. <laughs> like, don't do that. These are real people, by the way. Just wanna do what Victor Fundy is a real person and doesn't play for Gateshead at the moment. So, right. We're playing lowly Plymouth Argyle next game. Watch Fundy rock up with a hat trick ting. Believe it, mate. Thanks for the five dollars oh, victory yeah. fundy. <laughs> that was totally unnecessary. Right. Totally un no way I will support a team managed by a fundy apologist like Ricardo Castro. Food. <laughs> that was totally unnecessary. Right. Totally un when you're sat in Rose Ed and the ball hits your head, that's refundy. <laughs> 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 that was totally unnecessary. <laughs>
Oh, that's too good, mate. No wonder Fundy loves you. He can miss every shot and not get taken out the game. This is the one, lads. You, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret all that refundy talk. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. We haven't seen Fundy. See him now! Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. On a real note, have a good night, Rich. Definitely hit me up, be down to do a trash talk again. I'm glad to see your eyes and you were great back then. And I stand by the till this day. Right. Listen, thanks a lot, Seth. <laughs> thanks a lot. I'm having a, I'm having a refundy related crisis here. Listen. <laughs> Adabisi, he can't tackle now. Oh, 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 you've been done, mate. I'd be fucking spewing if that happened to me. I'd be spewing if that happened to me. Oh, I'd be spewing. That's the more like I don't. That's like a fucking Escher fucking staircase, like or something. That was like ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna go defensive. Turlier, all that space to fun. It's only out of BC, boys! And that's the one. Wraps it up. Gotta let this see. You think I'm kicking the ball out to get a chance for me, but it's a chance for them because how the game engine works. You're like, no, there's no way that could be true, Richard. 100% true. Watch. <laughs> it's just true every time. Like, it's so dumb. It's the only thing wrong with this version. I mean, come on. Even Fundy's laughing at you, mate. There it is, lads. See? Getting that dressing room. Popping corks. I appreciate it. Gates head fan TV. We mm. have Richard here. Great win, Richard. Mm. However, there was a bit of a black cloud. Fans booing Fundy. Yeah. Saying he hits up in row Z and that he needs to leave. Mm. What do you have to say? I think... You go four games uh, without a goal, and, you know, it's football. People have short memories. It's disappointing. I thought we were better than that at Gateshead. I thought we were the kind of people, you know, I, I know the head of the Fans Association, Glockster, gifting 25 subs to the community, a guy who's been around Gateshead all his life. You think that people are going to understand that, you know? it can't, He's still our top goal scorer. He's still our top goal scorer. He's got seven goals this season in a league... We weren't even supposed to be here, so I hope the fans can 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 you know help help your man Fundy, encourage your man Fundy. He loves this club. He's our top scorer. He's a future Nigerian international. I just think that I just think the fans are better than what they're showing right now. That's what I think, mate. So shout out to Gateshead Fan TV. Appreciate it. But we're winning games. That's the big story here. Everyone talking about Fundy. We just beat Plymouth Argyle. We're Gateshead. We beat them comfortably. 2-0. Everyone should be focused on what we're doing in the league right now. When we're the real chance of playing out, getting to the playoffs in Division 2. Unthinkable. Unthinkable. That's the Castro way.